episode 66. Felicia is my mother. Alfred and Beck looked at Dante. They felt as if Renfrey was too young to be Dante's wife. Renfrey, why are you so tired? Alfred asked. I asked you if you wanted a ride, but you didn't. Andrew said with a smile. Renfrey pleaded with a pout. Can you not laugh at me? I walked from Coffee Express all the way to Royal Mansion. I'm almost exhausted to death. Renfrey, you walked all the way from Coffee Express to Royal Mansion? You are really amazing. Harold praised. Are you tired? We'll eat soon. Have a good rest after eating. Dante said gently. Dante, you're the best to me. You know how to care about me. Unlike them. Renfrey complained. Renfrey, pay more attention to your health. Alfred said. By the way, why did you go to Coffee Express? Tony asked curiously. Renfrey saw their gossipy faces, so she told them the whole story. She's simply a scheming woman. Andrew said. Alfred played with the fruit knife in his hand and said, Renfrey, don't worry. I'll help you deal with that bad sister of yours. Isn't your drawing useless to you now? Tony said. That's right. It took me a long time to think of that idea. Renfrey said and pouted. You didn't bring the drawing back? Harold asked. No? Renfrey said innocently. At that, the brothers smiled awkwardly. Renfrey blinked her eyes and looked at Dante and asked, What is it? It's nothing. They're just bored. Dante said. As soon as Dante finished speaking, their faces turned gloomy. Boss, do you want to fight? Alfred asked. Dante looked at Andrew casually. If you want to fight, I'll accompany you. Dante said. No need. Alfred said with a smile. Renfrey, you haven't told me which jewelry designer you met. I'll teach her a lesson later. She's too bold to not take you as her student. Andrew said. Felicia Baldwin. Renfrey said. What? Andrew asked. Felicia Baldwin. Renfrey said again. Aunt Angela? Andrew said. Alfred, who was drinking milk, immediately spat it out when he heard that. Alfred, you're so gross. Renfrey said in disgust. Don't be grossed out. Alfred said while wiping his mouth. That's Felicia. Tony said. You also think Felicia's powerful, right? I think so too. But she's already misunderstood me. Renfrey said helplessly. Boss, this is fate. Harold said with a smile. Renfrey looked at them and did not understand what they were saying. She shook her head and said, Dante, what are they talking about? I don't understand. Dante looked at Renfrey lovingly. He never thought that the one who met her was actually Felicia. Renfrey, you really are amazing. Andrew said with a smile. Tony laughed loudly. Dante, do they know Felicia? Renfrey asked. Dante reached out his hand and gently put the hair in front of Renfrey's forehead behind her ear. Felicia's my mother, your mother-in-law. Dante said softly. As soon as Renfrey finished speaking, Harold and the others started laughing. Dante glared at them, causing them to instantly shut their mouths. Renfrey didn't act surprised, nor did she ask what was going on with Dante. Instead, she laughed. Dante, you really know how to lie. <laughs> Renfrey said. Dante looked at Renfrey helplessly. She really is my mother. She is a pseudonym. Her real name is Angela. Dante said softly. Renfrey didn't laugh this time. She looked at Dante with grievance and distress. My mother is good. Dante said. What do you know? Your mother seems to hate me. Renfrey said, disappointed. Don't worry. The next time you two meet, my mother will definitely like you. Dante said gently. Renfrey, you don't have to worry about your relationship with your mother-in-law. Alfred said. Aunt Angela is easy to get along with. Harold said with a smile. Yes. Tony said. I'm so unlucky. Renfrey said. Dante looked at Renfrey lovingly and patted her on the head. Young master, I finished the things you gave me. 
Cyan said respectfully. All right. Dante nodded. Zizzy, you're finally here. I miss you so much. Andrew said with a smile. You're crazy. Zion said coldly. And I'm crazy for you. Andrew said with a face that deserved a beating. Andrew, do you really like Zion? Renfrey asked curiously. Andrew stood up and slung his arm over Zion's shoulder. I really like Zizzy. Andrew said with a smile. But he doesn't like you. Harold said with a smile. Zion doesn't like men. Tony said. Andrew looked at Zion innocently and said, Zizzy, go teach them a lesson. Zion looked dangerous. Young master, I want to beat him up. Zion said through gritted teeth, That's up to you. Dante said calmly. After getting Dante's support, Zion threw Andrew onto the sofa. Zizzy, you're not gentle at all. My arm hurts. Andrew said sweetly. Andrew, you deserve a beating. Renfrey said with a smile. Zion looked at Andrew angrily and carried him out. Zion, put me down. Help. Boss. Alfred. Tony. Harold. Make him put me down. Andrew shouted. The corner of Renfrey's mouth twitched. This scene changed really quickly. What happened to the two of them? She asked curiously. Renfrey, you don't know this, but Andrew keeps bothering Zion every day. Alfred said, does he like Zion? Renfrey asked. Tony smiled awkwardly, not knowing how to answer. Zizzy, be gentle, you bastard. Andrew shouted loudly. The few people sitting in the living room left awkwardly. Fifteen minutes later, Zion walked into the living room expressionlessly. He was in a much better mood than before. Behind Zion was a limping Andrew, who looked at them with grievance.